Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start in standing. Okay, put your feet together and then open your feet hip width apart. Soften your knees, put your hands on your pelvis. And I want you to open up your chest a little bit. So try and make sure that those collarbones are smiley and that your shoulder blades are melting down. And then try and think about the head, which is being lifted by a little, little string up to the ceiling. And I want you to close your eyes and visualize that head being pulled away from your body up to the ceiling. And you're keeping the center where it is. You're keeping the weight in the middle of your body, in the middle of your feet. And then I want you to put your hands on your pelvis. And then I want you to bend your knees. And I want you to bring that belly button in and up to try and engage your abdominal muscles. And I want you to try and just rock your pelvis. But as you rock your pelvis, you are not letting your back muscles come to take you, okay? You're just keeping those front muscles working, okay? So carry on, just breathe in, breathe out, but try and keep these connected, okay? And then we need to find the middle and then bring those knees up or straight your knees, but keep them soft, okay? Very good, so we're gonna start with chest and um, stretch or chest opening. So keep the weight in the middle of the feet, shoulders down or away from your, uh, your ears. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out, and open up your arms in a V shape. Breathe in to hold and breathe out to lower. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out. <sighs> Engage that core, breathe in to hold, breathe out to lower. Okay? So we're gonna do a few of those. Try and close your eyes and concentrate in what is happening in the middle of your body. Okay? Don't let your back arch. Okay? Now you can do it a little bit quicker. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Roll those shoulders. Is the weight of your body in the middle of your feet? Good. If not, try to rearrange it. Okay, and then we're gonna stop and we're gonna do a little bit of um, arm chest or rotation. So breathe in, breathe out, bring your arms to the center, shoulders down, breathe in to prepare, breathe out, turn, breathe in, breathe out and the same. Now, the idea is that your pelvis stays looking forwards, okay? You're doing a rotation on your spine, but the pelvis is not turning with you. The pelvis is looking towards the front, okay? Now, I want you to think on that belly button in. Is it in as you breathe, okay? Don't forget to breathe. Shoulders are down, and then come back to the middle. And relax, roll the shoulders, keep that center. And we're gonna breathe in, breathe out, arms forwards, and just open and come back. Breathe in to stretch there, breathe out to come. Breathe in before you start, breathe out to move, breathe in to hold and stretch, and come back. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of foot work and legs and so breathe in. This is the foot series, breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna go into a squat. We're gonna lift the heels up and then we're gonna push up on your heels and lower down the hips. So breathe in to prepare, breathe out, lift the heels, breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in to lower. Breathe out, 
Breathe in, breathe out, and lower the hips. Okay, try and think in that center. That center is the one that needs to be concentrating. Okay, so pull that belly button in, breathe out, breathe in to lower. Very good. I'm going to show it on the side. And try and keep that control. Is the head where it needs to be? Okay, one more time. Lift the heels and push up. This time, try and think on that string on the top of your head. This time, we're going to do, we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we lift the heels. We do a squat with the heels up. And then lower the heels. And then we push up, sealing with your glutes. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and push up. Heels up, squat, heels down, push up. Heels up, and you can do it faster if you want to, if you master it, okay? I'm showing it really slowly because I want you to master it. Last one. Very good. Breathe. Find the middle of those feet. And then I want you to just do a squat and push up with your glutes. Squat and push up. Okay? If your knees hurt, just try not to bend too much. Imagine you're sitting on a chair. And use your buttocks to push up. Okay? And Last one, very good, okay, fine. We're gonna put the hands in the pelvis, shoulders down. We're gonna go onto one foot, but you can put your toes first, okay? And then we're gonna breathe in, breathe out. You're gonna bend the knee up, push it back, up, push it back, using your buttocks, and then breathe in, breathe out, do the movement, okay? Breathe in, breathe out to do the movement. Now, try and think, is driven, when the leg goes back, you're using your buttocks. You're not using your back, okay? Three, two, one and change. Okay, so change. Breathe in, breathe out, lift, use the bottom to push back, stay there a bit so you know that that's working. You can touch it if you want. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now think on the head. Think on the shoulders, connecting with the back. Think on the front of your body, connecting with the back, okay? So when the leg goes back, you're not moving your back. You're moving your buttock muscle, okay? And relax. This time, I want you just to put the toes there. I want you to use the buttock of the muscle of the leg that you're putting weight on. And then you're going to go up on your calf, down, squat, up on your calf, raise, sit, calf, raise, sit. Now make sure that you're using your front of your muscles, okay? Make sure you're using these. You're not using your back to lift up, okay? Now. Squeeze your glute to go up and then lift that heel up. And we're gonna change. Now use that glute of that leg that is on the floor and breathe in, breathe out. Lift the heel, heel down, squat. Okay. 
Now, in Pilates, we work a lot of balance, but the balance is given by your core as well. So if your back is pulling, you need to do it slowly and you need to work on that, okay? And stick your bottom back a little bit and then squeeze to go up. Two, one, and rest. You're done. Now, we're gonna go to the end of the mat. Can you see me? And we're gonna do our rollings, okay? So, breathe in, breathe out, and, sorry, breathe in, breathe out, roll your chin in, and start bending the neck, and then start bending vertebra by vertebra, your upper thoracic spine, lower thoracic spine, and then stop, breathe in, breathe out, and then try and bring vertebra by vertebra by vertebra, one on top of the other one. And when you're at the top, you make that strain, pull your head away from your spine, shoulders down. Breathe in, breathe out, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra is coming off the spine. Let the arms rest on your side and breathe in and breathe out to come up again. Try and imagine how each part of your spine is moving. And one more time, this time we're gonna go down a little bit more. Breathe in, breathe out, just the chin, then the lower neck, then the upper back, then the lower back. And you can bend your knees to go down a little bit more. Now, breathe in, breathe out, engage those glutes, engage that core, vertebra by vertebra up. Once you're up, you roll the shoulders, but you keep the trunk in position. This time we're gonna go and put the hands a little bit more forward. Breathe in, breathe out, roll the neck, shoulders come forwards with no pressure, bend your knees, move your hands forwards, and then you want you to bring, bend one knee, one, two, and then push back, okay, one, two, and push back with your hands a little bit more so you can feel the stretch at the back of your leg. So bend one knee, then the other one, and then bend and push back to stretch the back of your leg. One, two, one, stretch. One, two, one, stretch. One, two, one, stretch and the last one one two one stretch and i want you to bend your knees and i want you to put your hands below your shoulders and your knees below your hips okay now i want you to rock that pelvis gently bring that belly button in and find the middle once you find the middle you're gonna Breathe in to prepare, and as you breathe out, you're gonna engage the core, and you're gonna lift one arm up, and breathe in to come back. Breathe in, breathe out, lift the other arm, breathe in, and breathe out, lower it down, okay? Now, try and make sure that when you're doing that, you're activating, those inner abdominal muscles, especially when you're trying to do the change, okay? The change of hands, so nothing should be moving. Pelvis should stay there, shoulders should stay there. Very good. And come into a child pose stretch to give your hands a little bit of a rest, your wrists. 
this time we're going to use that core to come back up okay find the middle again because we probably lost it okay and we're going to do the legs okay so with in breathe out straight the leg using your buttock muscle and then lift using your buttock muscle and then lower core out to lift breathe in to hold breathe out to lower and same pattern okay and try and think that you're using your buttock muscle to help you lift the head eyes looking down in between the arms don't bring the head up or down too much just remember that crown of the head still in position being pulled on the opposite knee okay two more on each side remember to use your tummy muscles and your buttock muscles perfect go back into that child pose stretch and now we're going to combine the movements to do the swimmer level two okay so breathe in and breathe out come onto position hands below the shoulders soften the elbows knees below the hips breathe in breathe out and you're gonna stretch one leg one arm and you can lift the leg using your buttock muscles and hold breathe in breathe out and lower breathe in to prepare breathe out engage your core and stretch imagine someone's pulling your toes in the opposite direction of your fingers and lower okay if you can't lift your leg with your glutes or your back is a little bit uncomfortable then try and change okay try and do it slowly or try and just slide the leg and do it with the foot down one more on each side hold and don't <laughs> move the pelvis and relax well done another child pose and then we're gonna come onto your back with your knees bent hip width apart okay good so in this position we're gonna find that middle of that pelvis you're gonna engage the core i want you to put your hands on your ribs now that's where we breathe we take the air to those to that lower part of your ribs but what i want is that you bring those ribs in okay and try and mesh them with the rest of your abdominal wall okay because they are part of it so i want you to breathe in breathe out shoulders down bring the arms here when you bring the arms here your back shouldn't be lifting okay your back should be hold there so same when we're going to move the arms back so breathe in breathe out bring the arms back breathe in to come back breathe in to prepare breathe out to do a d-shaped movement and breathe in to come back keep the rhythm breathe in to come back breathe out breathe in remember don't let the ribs mesh keep that belly button in and activate those abdominals okay one more perfect now i want you to breathe in breathe out and as you do the same movement you're gonna slide one foot and when you're coming back you bring the heel back to you breathe in breathe out 
That's double leg stretch, level two. Very good. Now, the idea is you're keeping the control of those ribs, of that pelvis, so you're not arching your back. If you're arching your back, just move the legs along or move the arms along. Make it easier. And then relax. Relax. Bring one knee to your chest. Bring the other one. And give yourself a nice stretch. Very good. We're going to start with um, single leg stretch okay so bring one leg down bring the other one down find the middle again once you find the middle of that pelvis this time i want you to bring the shoulders down but i want you to put your okay. you want is those pelvic bones to stay there level you don't want them to be moving okay so Breathe in, breathe out, and you're gonna bring one leg up and then the other one. Okay? Now, the idea is that you don't move that, okay? Now, I want you to bring the leg up and straighten the knee. Imagine you, they are leveled with the other leg and you are pressing a button on the other side of the boot. And then come back onto a single tabletop and then look. And then again, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out to look. Breathe in, breathe out, stretch, breathe in to come back, breathe out to look. So, okay, good. If that's too easy, then what you can do is go onto tabletop, both legs onto tabletop, and then you do that. Okay? Good. Now, with the arms on the side, this is level three, but you really need to make sure that you're keeping the belly button in. Okay? Very good, do it on your own time. Think on the position of your knees, okay? Now level four will be putting the hand on the other side, the knee that is bent, then the other one, okay? Now the head is relaxed. You can stop whenever you want. I'm doing it very slowly so you can see. Okay, and level five will be coming up here onto abdominal preparation. Two times. And you breathe. Okay, do what you can. Go back onto the levels that we just did. Okay, and have a little rest. And we're going to go on to your side this time. We're going to work that hip, okay? Now, I want you to stretch your arm. You probably can't see me as much, but I'm resting my head on my shoulder. The key thing is that you think that that pelvis is on top of the other one, yeah? And if we want that, we need a little uh, um, gap here, okay? Now, I want you to support yourself with the bottom foot a little bit so you can get better balance, okay? You can put your hand there, you can put your hand there. I'm gonna put my hand there so you can see that my pelvis is not moving. So we're gonna start with lift and lower. So breathe in, breathe out, you point your toes up and then your heel down. Keeping that gap, okay? Breathe out, 
breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Is the gap there? And my shoulders down. Okay. Now I want you to bring that heel back a little bit more. And try and keep the control there. Three, two, one. And relax. Okay. Now we're going to do the lift and um, a leg lift. Okay. So, same position. You can maybe put your hand at the front, but keep that gap, bringing that belly button in. And you're going to bring the top leg as you breathe in to prepare. You breathe out, you bring the top leg hip width apart. Okay? Then breathe in, bring the other one, and then breathe out to hold and breathe in to low. Okay? And again, breathe in, breathe out, lift the leg, keep width apart only. Breathe in to bring the other one, breathe out to hold and engage and breathe in to low. Together, both legs together. Breathe in, breathe out, lift the leg. Breathe in, bring the other one together. Breathe out as you hold and breathe in to low. Okay, and carry. Two more. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out to hold, breathe in to lower. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out to lower. And relax. And we're going to turn to the other side. Okay. And then we'll do a little bit of a stretch there. If your bottom hip hurts a little bit, you can do a little roll towel. Roll towels are always handy. Okay? So same. I'm going to move a little bit more this way. So you can see my feet. Okay? Same thing. Okay? Rearrange lower leg or lower foot can hold on to help you. Ideally, put your hand at the front, shoulders down. Don't push too much, just try. And then we're gonna start with lift and low. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift with the toes up, toes pointing. Go down with your heel. Toes, heel. It's as if you are brushing. So if you are painting with your toes, you're brushing down with your heels. And you're trying to keep that gap there. Okay, so toes, heel, toes, heel. Okay, now move the leg a little bit back without arching your back. Think on that breathing. Okay. Very good. And we're going to do three, two, one, and relax. Now we're going to do a lift leg, leg lift. Okay, so breathe in, breathe out, hover the top leg hip width apart, breathe in to bring the other one, breathe out to hold and breathe in to lower both legs. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, bring the other one, breathe out to lower, okay? Use the tummy muscles. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out to hold, and breathe in to lower. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out, leg up, breathe in for the other one, breathe out to hold, and lower. Okay, three more. And last one. Hold as you breathe out, and breathe in to lower. Wow, that is good. 
Lay down on your back. And bring one knee to your chest. Bring the other one. And just give yourself a nice stretch to the lower back. And you can rock if you want. And breathe in. As you breathe out, bring one leg down and cross the other one. Okay. Push the crossed leg. Push it down or away from your shoulder. Then bring that top knee towards the other side in a diagonal to the opposite shoulder so you can stretch your gluteal muscles here. You just work them out. Okay. And then breathe out and change. Okay. Push the top knee away from you. Don't arch your back. Nice stretch there. And then that knee, we're going to bring it in a diagonal to stretch the side of your bottom muscles. And relax. Okay. We're going to go on to your side. We're going to go on to your hands and knees again. And we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to do thread the needle. We're going to pass the hand onto across the other hand. And we're going to stretch a little bit. We're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to lift the arm to the other side. Then breathe in, breathe out, and we go back underneath and stretch a little bit there. Okay, now we're going to change hands. So breathe in, breathe out, and stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Use your tummy muscles to lift the, the arm. And look at your hand, straight those fingers, and breathe out to come back. Last stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one, and then come back. Roll your toes. Come and sit on your toes. Mm -hmm. Stretch those toes nicely, and then put your hands, roll your heels down, and then roll your body up. Okay, very good. And we're gonna do just a nice stretching standing. Okay, so lift up and down. And you will notice that you are a lot more stable because you woke up those core muscles, you're using them without realizing. Okay, last one. Okay, now I want you to go back. Shoulders down. And then change. Remember, you're using that bottom muscle. And the last one. And then we're going to breathe in, breathe out. We're going to go around and then roll vertebra by vertebra up. Roll the shoulders, breathe in to prepare, breathe out. And a nice mermaid stretch combined with a rolling.
And last one, this side. Very good. We finished. <laughs> Very good.